So this is what a file looks like if you open up the Cyberscape Pro file. So this city is scattered on a plane, which means you can use the plane to change the scale and the shape of the city. You could also import a vector graphic as a SVG and use it to scatter your city on. So let's go into the rendered view. You can see that it already set up a volume cube because mist and haze is crucial to make the city actually look good. So in the modifier tab you have all of these controls for the geometry nodes of the city. Like the building seat right here, which if you change it gives you a completely new result for the complete layout of the city. Which gives you the ability to change between infinite versions of your seat. The distance minimum controls how dense the buildings are near to each other. The shape seed randomizes the shape and the detail of the buildings. The city is made out of smaller buildings and taller buildings. And this slider here gives you control over how many tall buildings there are. You can see that the buildings in the city have these glowing neon tubes on the edges. And there are also sliders to control the amount and the seed of them. The subdivision level adds more smaller details to the buildings. You have control over the height and width of the tall buildings and for the smaller buildings individually. The roof with assets probability slider controls how many buildings there are with details on their roof. And of course you have a random seed for that and a density factor with control over the scale of the objects. There are a bunch of neon ads with the blender logo scattered through the city. These are all just placeholders that you can easily just replace with your own files. Just select the collection ads and just import your own logos and animations as images as planes. I prepared a folder with a bunch of stuff I downloaded and I'm just going to select all of them and you also need to change the material type to emission and after importing them into the ad collection they are automatically scattered through the city. I just searched for brand logos on Google and filtered for CC0 licenses and you can find some free stock footage on Pexels videos. If you go to the material tab you see that I also created node groups with controls for the textures with the facade seed you can randomize the building textures. There's also a slider for the scale. And the dark facade slider controls how many walls there are with no lights. The window light seed controls which texture is used for the window lights. In the emission material you can change the colors of the neon tubes and the mix colors slider controls how much there is of one of the colors. And if you go closer to the buildings you can see that I created these glowing points. Of course you can change the colors of the points but there's also a point random blinking slider and if you animate this value you get this random blinking in your animation which gives more life to your city. Now let me show you how I use Cyberscape to create one of the final shots. I just copied the asset from the original file and pasted it into my new scene. I had to adjust the view end because the scale was too large for the viewport. Then I went into the rendered view and set the world to a sky texture. I added a cube around the entire scene. And in the material for the cube I used a emission shader and put it into the volume output. Then I turned down the emission strength, this gives us this fog effect. Then I add in a camera. I also changed the lens type from perspective to panoramic to get this fisheye lens perspective. Then I just played around with the camera and tried to get an interesting angle. I selected the objects in the ad collection and deleted the blender logos so I could replace them with different graphics. Then I duplicated the whole object to add more city in the background. Now obviously the bigger the city gets and with more detail it's going to be harder for your computer to handle. That's why I added this button here that says easy viewport. This button removes all of the detail to make editing in the viewport a little bit more responsive. I added in a curve and used the draw tool to create these wires hanging between the buildings. I also tried out different settings and colors for the neon tubes on the buildings. For the neon ads with black backgrounds, I like to put the color of the image directly into the alpha. This removes the black background. That's basically like setting the blend mode to add in any video editor or photoshop. Then I rendered a image of the scene. 
and brought it into DaVinci to see what it would look like with my EXR LUTs. So it turned out that I wasn't that happy with the perspective. So I went back into Blender and tried out something new. In the end I also deleted the area light lighting the building from below. Then I keyframed camera and I turned off the volume cube for rendering because I want to create the volumetric effects in compositing which saves us a ton of render time because adding a volume scatter effect for example adds a lot of noise to your scene. Then I rendered this animation. So this shot actually just took about 14 seconds per frame and I'm rendering everything on a artificial x 3070 actually. If you want to know how I create the compositing and the post-processing for this shot, subscribe to this channel because I will create a tutorial on that. Find Cyberscape Pro in the links in the description.